Uh, yeah, so that's right. I was kind of um, that kid in class who always was doodling instead of uh, listening to the teacher. And um, yeah, my files and books would just be littered with with doodles. And eventually, you know, other other students would ask me to, to draw in their files and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I just I've always had that that passion for drawing. I guess There's one part where you kind of poses the the question where you know what is it that the one thing that you would love to do you know for free if you if you could or they would you know you'll be love you would be willing to do for free without you know getting paid for it and you know how could you use that thing to help other people which is something that I'd never um thought of before you know it's always kind of been how do I become successful not how do I help other people so mm. that was a, a really good um kind of pivot and then I kind of thought you know why don't I use my because I've got you know I've had a background in design, background in illustration, cartooning. Why don't I design these quotes as kind of posters? It's kind of posters that you'd actually want to hang up in your house. And then kind of that, I took that a step further and why don't I actually create comics out of these quotes? Why don't I actually turn them into stories? And that's what kind of when, you know, that, that light bulb moment hit, I mm. thought that's a pretty good idea. So I kind of pursued that. Cool, man. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. But, you know, obviously, you know, they say a picture tells a thousand words. So it's a visual um, media. Um, so the visual, I think, is more important than the, the words. I get, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. They both are equally important. And, you know, you know, if you just have a prose novel, it's one thing. If you just have, you know, pictures, it's another thing. But it's just a weird kind of alchemy of putting those two together. You have pictures and words working um and you know together to tell a story i think it just um, really powerful and a lot of uh, people use then pencils to learn another language like uh, non-english speakers use it to learn english because you know you can kind of tell what's happening with just the pictures you don't really and you can kind of put the words you know you can kind of guess what the words are going to be if you kind of have a half understanding of english i did this comic about uh adapted this poem called um ithaca which is like a this poem all about seeing the world and, and exploring the world and travel and that you know the journey is the destination you know stuff like that and i was really proud of that comic um and so i got a month later i got this email saying oh you know i really loved that ithaca ad adaptation um i loved it so much that you know it inspired me to actually quit my job he was like an engineer uh in engineer in india and uh he quit his job and he went just backpacking around Asia for a few months. Oh, wow. Uh, people have had wedding shoots based on that comic. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just really mind blowing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so, oh, <man. laughs> so yeah, it's just been, um, yeah, it's been, it's been beyond my wildest dreams, I guess, all wow. these amazing um, connections I've made all around the world. Amazing, man.